Layer styles can be so effective in creating the third dimension because basically layer styles are lighting effects. If you look at the names of the layer styles, you have inner glow and drop shadow. Most of these things are the effects of light on an object. Now to create some effects in the painting here, like for instance, it will zoom in on this little sign right up here and you can see that you get the impression that there are light bulbs behind that sign. It has that glow to it. That little darkness along the edges gives it that impression that there are light bulbs in the side there. And uh, the same thing will happen way over here. You can see that, again, there's this little dark haze that's going on in there that gives you the impression that there are two long bulbs right inside this area here. A very simple use of the layer styles can give you these really spectacular effects. Let's go in here and create a three-dimensional effect for this little sign here. That's the bubble gum sign from the painting, but we're going to make it a little different here. It's straight on, and we want to make it look like it is a sign that's all lit up. So what I'm going to do here is play around with it a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take the actual bubblegum sign, and I'm going to go into my controls here, into my adjustments, go to Hue Saturation, and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to punch up the saturation on that sign quite a bit. So it starts to look like it's lit up, just like that. Click OK, and that's good enough. That's got really strong, saturated color now. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to double-click on it, to bring up the layer styles, and let's just move it over here so we can see what's going to happen next. To give it the impression that there is light bulbs inside this sign, I'm simply going to give the sign an inner glow. Now, I bring up the size here. You see that we're seeing there's a light tone along the sides. That's not what I want. I want the center of the sign to be bright and make it look like the bulbs are inside. So I'm going to change the color of this to a deeper tone, say like about this orange right here. Now it disappeared because, again, I'm going with a color that's darker than the contents of the image. So now I'll go in here and change the mode to multiply, which added this darker tone right along that edge, giving me the impression that this is lit up from inside. Now the frame itself, I want this to look three-dimensional. So here's the frame in its own layer, and we're going to say that the light's coming from this side over here. It's coming from the street. The building's here, and the street is here. So I'm going to go into the layer styles for the sign itself, and I'm going to give it a little bevel and emboss right off the bat. And we want the light to be coming from this side right here. So now, you see that I've got this bevel and emboss. I'm going to increase the depth so I get really strong lights and darks. I'm going to make the size really small, bring it down to about a 2. So I just get this little tiny edge on the two sides. might even make it 1, just so it looks like it's just got a little tiny edge to the sign. There we go. We have this nice brightness on this side. Now, the actual sign is inset into the frame, so I'm going to give this particular guy a drop shadow as well. And there we can see that we have this little drop shadow. We're going to bring the light down just a little bit like this. So there's our little drop shadow inside, which I can kind of increase the spread so it becomes a little sharper, just like that. And we have the little shadow inside. And bring down the opacity a little bit because this is brightly lit sign. So I get this little hint of a shadow right inside there. Click OK. The shadow's out here too. I don't want it out there. So now that I have the drop shadow and the bubble and boss for that frame, I'm going to come over here and say, Layer Style, Create Layer. This little message will pop up to warn you that sometimes when you're making layers out of individual layer styles, sometimes there'll be a conflict. When they're working together, they work fine. But if you separate them into separate layers, sometimes their modes might conflict. So there is that possibility that things won't look the same as they did when you first applied the layer style. So it's kind of like a little warning that some things might not work. Usually they do. But if you've added, say, five different layer styles and you're going to combine this with another layer that has another five layer styles, you are going to run into some conflicts and it won't look as good as it did when you originally assigned the layer style. So now that we have them as individual layers here, I'm going to go to the drop shadow layer and I'm going to go in there and just erase this area right up in here. Now, I'm not totally sure I want to erase it because what if I want to move things later? Rather than erasing, which is destructive, I'm just going to give that a layer mask. And in the layer mask, I'm going to go in there and using black, I'm going to just paint out that area up there so I don't see the shadow on that side there and I don't see the shadow on this side here. Just like that. I'm just painting it out. So that way, if I ever decide I want to just move things around, the shadow is still intact. I just hidden parts of it using a layer mask so I don't see the shadow outside the area of the frame.
But there you can see that now we have a sign that looks three-dimensional. It looks like it's lit up from inside and it has the effect that I wanted to get.